it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and we're here doing a little uh, little cameo video for the Topher on this 2020 McLaren 570S Spider. I'm here with Alyssa from Daily Motor, and we've been driving this 570S all around the Western Mountains, if you can hear me, of Denver, Colorado. 570S and GT have been out for a little while here and McLaren decided to make the Spider version for a little top-down fun. You can hear this mid-engine 3.8 liter 562 horse twin turbocharged V8 rumbling along. Sounds good, goes even better. We'll demonstrate the convertible top operation here. So there's a button right here in the, in the middle you want to just push down on that you can do this up to 25 miles per hour top folds right away I think the player says it's about 15 seconds nope keep going yep and there you have it now it's a spider it's a convertible allows you to enjoy beautiful sunshiny days and one advantage we realized is that it helps for looking up steep mountain cliffs. So let's go ahead and get behind the wheel. We've done these roads a few times. We know some great twisties and kind of experience what this car is like. We have this super neat yellow stitching all throughout the interior. 12 speaker Bowers and Wilkins audio system. Both the driver and passenger seat have two memory settings so I can Hold down memory button and get comfortable here. The interior is bathed in carbon fiber. You can see our paddle shifters are carbon fiber, parts of the wheel up here around the iris infotainment display and down here with all of our controls. We've got some storage areas and some USB ports, cup holder up here as well as a softer cup holder there. Nice deep storage areas in the doors you can fit wallets and sunglasses and I masks and passenger side. yes so. yep it's nice for the passenger to have that as well because they don't have a glove box yep so there's also a little uh, mesh area a little pocket for some documentation as well as anything else you might need to put seat controls and mclarens are way down here a little tough to get to and tough to get used to but once you kind of figure out where your fingers need to touch really not too bad right. and some storage behind the seats as well no park gear for this dual clutch seven speed transmission. We just simply put it into drive and take the parking brake off and away you go. <clears throat> there are three drive modes in the 570S, normal, sport, and track for both the chassis and suspension as well as the engine and transmission drivetrain. So we'll get started here. Go up into, you press the active button activate the drive modes, switch these very satisfying levers into sport and sport. I'm going to go into manual shifting mode. I'll do a little bit in sport and then I'll shift on over to track. And we'll just spend a few minutes driving here, let you all experience the sounds. Automatic and certainly a firmer 
more responsive ride. We're going to slow down to 25 miles per hour and put our top up. Now the way this car builds power is really quite fascinating. It's a high revving V8, twin turbocharged, and up here at pretty significant elevation, about 10,000 feet. If I accelerate here from low revs, you'll really see the crescendo in power that we experience. You can feel that power swell up and, and your neck muscles have to get tight. But it's not immediate, and it, and it results in a very thrilling and engaging driving experience. Very different than you might get from a, an engine that's kind of a, a large turbo with a lot of power down low or an electrified powertrain. You have to work for the power, and when you get it, it's satisfying. This isn't the loudest or most raw vehicle on the market. really create some pleasurable driving experiences. Go back down into sport and sport now. You can see our gauge changes configuration, shows us a little bit of different information as well as a different tachometer. It's kind of nice that the 570S isn't information overload. It's not like you're driving a computer in here. Right. It's kind of a straightforward, simple interior. McLaren has a lot of strange controls that take a little while to get used to, like the seats and the operating the gauge information display and a little bit of the infotainment system. But once you kind of get acclimated and, and get past the learning curve, it results in a vehicle it's just focused on driving and it does a really satisfying job with that. You do get a lot of looks in this car and you get a lot of attention. It's so fun. You, <laughs> you pretty much can't park anywhere without getting comments, getting people coming up and asking about the vehicle. Especially the butterfly doors. Yep, oh. yep, the color, the butterfly doors, it's all part of the package. So that's something that you have to be ready for. But if you if you are okay with that, then... This, this is that car, and this is certainly a good option for you. Wrap it on up here. Unfortunately, we're unable to take 570S to the tip top of the highest paved road in North America, but 
will at least take you to where that road is closed. <laughs> and if you turn it into just normal mode, the car quiets right down. It's quite a comfortable ride. I wouldn't quite say you could daily a vehicle like this the way you could an Acura NSX, for example, but it's really not too bad. Other than the firm seats, it's, uh, it's a good The good, seats are good drive. firm for a very specific reason. Yes, I mean, this they is not the GT very, model. This is right. the sport model. They do a great job at that, and throughout the whole drive, I haven't felt the need to really hold on to any handles that I've been given because the seat, these seats really hug you and keep you in. So. Yes. Look out over this beautiful view if you can see it through this slightly dirty windshield. And the sunlight. And the bright sun. As I said, no park. Simply press neutral and parking brake. And power. Pretty amazing. Open, you pull up on the door there, just encourage the door to rise up. The seat pulls back. And down you go. Thank you so much to McLaren for letting us spend time in this wonderful vehicle of theirs. It's really made for an unforgettable trip. And thank you so much to Chris over at the Topher for helping Daily Motor grow into what we've become working together with us over at Winding Road, doing all this fun stuff with these cars. I should show you the frunk here, 570S. It's quite spacious. You can fit quite a bit in here since the engine's behind the cab. Get a lot of room here. You can see my camera bag and a little side pouch to keep things from sliding around. Not bad. Thank you all so much for watching. Check out all of our other content at Daily Motor. And if you haven't subscribed to the Topher, certainly hit that subscribe button and watch all of his other excellent content. We're Charlie and Alyssa from Daily Motor. And as always, I shouldn't say as always because this is the Topher. <laughs> and thanks everybody for watching. <laughs>